Hello everyone, welcome to my get together. My name is Aleka and today we are going to work on a few different fun festive recipes for the summer. All of these recipes are Memorial Day, 4th of July, Labor Day appropriate because they're red, white, and blue and just perfect for the summertime. So if you're looking for some easy, fun, and delicious recipes for this summer's get together, you've come to the right place. we're going to work on today is my Star Spangled Kielbasa Bites. Now, what we're gonna need is just a couple packages of regular kielbasa. These are already cooked, so all we have to do is cut them up and throw them in a saucepan with some of our sauce. For our sauce, we're going to use some crushed pineapple and Sweet Baby Ray's or really any barbecue sauce, but this is my favorite, hickory brown sugar. It's all delicious. So what we wanna do is first chop up our basa. Ready? This package I'm using is about three quarters of a pound, um, but really whatever you want. We're gonna take our kielbasa and add it straight to a saucepan. five minutes or until they're warm through, then we can take them off. And really they're just three ingredients. Super simple. Add it to a bowl. Next, we're gonna make our puff pastry stars to put on top. Let's do that now. What we're gonna need is a package of puff pastry. Let it fall in the refrigerator overnight. Unfold it onto a lined baking sheet. And then what we're gonna do is brush our puff pastry with an egg wash, and this is just an egg and some water. And next, we're going to sprinkle some everything bagel seasoning on top of our puff pastry. Finally, we're going to take a star cookie cutter and we're gonna cut out as many stars as we can for our Star Spangled Kielbasa. Say that five times fast. After that, you can just pull away any excess puff pastry. You can try to get as many as you can out of this. Once your puff pastry stars are cut and set, I was able to get about 12 from one sheet. Probably get up to 15 if you're really extra um, attention to detail. We're gonna bake this for about five, 10 minutes, maybe 15, depending on where they are in the oven. I suggest placing them in the middle of rack. Let's do it. Okay, our Star puff pastries are out of the oven and they're looking so delicious. Look how cute. Now what we're gonna do is take a little toothpick, just pop it right in there, and we're going to stick them into our kielbasa. Okay, and there's our star spice. Kielbasa bites. Now, how you eat them is you take a star and a kielbasa and you can eat it together like a little mini hot dog sandwich. And it's a savory appetizer that is patriotic and super easy. Next, for our summer dessert, we're going to make my American flag stuffed cheesecake biscuit bombs. It is a super popular recipe on my blog and it's perfect for the summer. So let me show you how I make it. First, we're gonna need Pillsbury Grand's um, just regular biscuit, canned biscuit dough. And it comes in eight in a can, so we're gonna need two of them. Pie filling, cherry and blueberry. The more expensive, the better. Usually, unfortunately, we don't want anything watery, so get the best filling you can find. 12 ounces of cream cheese, about half a cup of powdered sugar, a teaspoon, a teaspoon and a half of vanilla, an egg with some water for our egg wash, and a piping bag, or you can use a Ziploc bag and like snip off the corner to make your own DIY piping bag. I do that all the time. Okay, let's get started. So let's pop open our biscuit cans. Woo! <laughs> now we're gonna take each biscuit and cut it in half. After we cut our 
biscuits in half, we're gonna roll them into balls and place them on a non-steep, steep, non-steep, a non-stick baking sheet. I like to use parchment paper, or you can use like a silicone mat. I don't recommend using foil because you don't want it sticking to your biscuits. And we're going to lay our biscuits in five rows of six biscuits. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, five times to make our flag. Okay, one thing that you should do is just leave a little bit of space between your biscuit balls because they will expand in the oven. Now we're going to brush our biscuit dough with our egg wash. This will help it come out nice and shiny and give it a little bit of color. Egg wash is on. We're going to bake at 375 for about eight to 10 minutes until they're cooked through and nice and brown on the outside. While that's baking, we're going to whip up our cheesecake filling. Super easy, all you're going to need is 12 ounces of cream cheese. Next we're gonna add about half of a cup of powdered sugar. If you want it sweeter, you can add more. About a teaspoon and a half to three quarters of vanilla extract. And then finally, about two to three tablespoons of milk or heavy cream. Now if you use heavy whipping cream, your filling will be much lighter and fluffier. I love using that when I have it. Use your whisk attachment and beat on first low so that the powdered sugar doesn't go everywhere. And then you can pick it up to high speed. So it'll only take a couple minutes, five minutes max, and it's ready. Once we have our filling, we're going to add it to our piping bag or Ziploc, large Ziploc bag. And the easiest way to do this is to get a cup or a mug or a measuring cup is, is what I like to use because it's nice and wide. I'm going to use a beer glass because it's taller. You want to put it in and just fold it around the edges and then we're going to scoop it in. Then just fold it up and it's all in there. Okay, our biscuit flag is looking good. It's golden brown. It's pulled off at this point because we don't want it to be hot when we add our filling. Now all we're going to do is take our filling, poke a hole in the center of each of our biscuit ball, and squeeze until it starts coming out on top and it's nice and full. And we're gonna do this for each one. Okay, so I have all of our biscuit balls filled with our cheesecake filling. Next, we're going to make it red, white, and blue. Now it's okay if you have white coming out because we're gonna cover it up with a pie filling, but the stripes that are white on a flag, we're gonna wanna make them a little bit more pronounced and we're gonna add more piping straight to the top of that. So what we're gonna do is add red, white, red, white, red. Add blue to these nine. Finally, the last touch, and this is completely optional, but sometimes I like to sprinkle powdered sugar on top. It just makes it look prettier. Your American flag stuffed cheesecake biscuit bomb. I got it right. It is really stuffed with that delicious cheesecake filling. Really, it'll feed up to most likely 10, 12 people easily, and kids will love it. Our second dessert is going to be a mini layered trifle type of dessert. So it's similar to our second one, but it's great for serving outside or on the go. I purchased these mini plastic cups from Amazon. I bought this sliced pound cake. Whatever is your favorite, it's usually in the bakery aisle. All we're gonna do is slice the already sliced pound cake up into little cubes and layer our cups with strawberry jam. All I did was mix strawberry jam or preserves with lemon juice and waters to thin it out a little bit and brighten it up a bit. And fresh berries, as well as any leftover whipped topping that we had from our previous dessert. homemade and it will last that long and there you go. 
Our next recipe is going to be a quick and simple appetizer um, or snack, and we're gonna use watermelon. So let's cut it up. And we're gonna cut it now into about one inch strips. Next, take our cookie cutter, star cookie cutter, and cut out little watermelon stars. Now you can do as many stars as you want. You can cut them out as much as you want. The scraps, you can either cut it up and add it to a large fruit salad. You can freeze it and put it in the Ziploc bag and throw it into smoothies or make summer drinks like a watermelon margarita or cocktail or daiquiri, whatever you want. Next, we're going to take some feta cheese because feta cheese and watermelon go together really well. Sweet, salty. I promise if you haven't tried it, you'll love it. And sprinkle on top. Another thing you can add is a drizzle of balsamic vinegar. This is optional too. And then finally, if you wanna add a pop of blue, skewer some blueberries or blackberries and just add it into the top of it. And there you have it. Beautiful, healthy, and super festive. The next recipe we're gonna make is going to be the quickest appetizer you're ever going to make because it's pretty much all store-bought, which is totally fine, no judgment at all. What you're gonna need is any white pre-made dip that you can find in the food store. I came across this garlic and herbs cream cheese spread. It's white, it looks delicious, and it's exactly what we need. So I'm gonna add this to a container. We're going to take any blue tortilla chips and crush them up. I like to add them to a Ziploc bag. Make sure that you get all the air out. Let's get some anger out. We're gonna crush them as well as we can. Now, what we're gonna do is take our star cutter again and we're going to place it on the top of our dip and add our crumbs. Press it down and make sure that every point in the star is filled and then lift it up. And you have a cute little blue star dip that is just an easy way to spruce up a star ball dip and make it look festive. The next dessert that we're gonna make is so delicious. If you've ever seen these in the produce section, they're dessert shells and they come right here like the freshly cut fruit. We're going to make whipped topping to fill them in and top with berries. All we need is about half of a cup of whipping cream, a teaspoon of vanilla, and then about a quarter cup of powdered sugar. So it only takes a couple minutes over high speed, and this is what we're looking for. Nice, light, and fluffy consistency. All we're gonna do is take our cakes, lay them on a platter. Now you can do more if you're expecting more company, but I like this color, so I'm gonna put it on this plate. Scoop the whipped topping into the cake. berries. And if you want to be extra fancy, you can add a little mint leaf to it. Just adds a pop of color. There you have it. Little mini berry shortcakes that literally took me five minutes to look up. Okay, so our last recipe is going to be a drink and it's kid friendly, adult friendly, and super festive. So all you need is lots of ice, a clear pitcher or a glass drink dispenser, fruit punch, blue Gatorade, and a white drink. I got this by Coconut Fusion because it's white. You can also use a clear Sprite that has zero sugar because the less sugar, the lighter the drink is and it'll float over the other drinks that are heavier or have more sugar like this guy. So first I'm going to add my fruit punch in before I put the ice in about a third of the way up. Then I'm going to fill it up with ice. Okay. Next we're going to add our bi coconut white drink. The key is to do it super slowly so that the colors do not mix together. Okay. And then finally your blue Gatorade. There you have it, a 
pretty layered red, white, and blue drink that's full of delicious flavor and the kids will love it. If you have a spigot on the bottom, the layers will most likely not blend together. If you pour it, they might, but it's just pretty, pretty presentation for when people come over. Well, I hope you found something delicious to serve for your summer get together. Now I'm just waiting for company to come over to eat up all this delicious food. For all the recipes that you saw here today, you can check out the box below and I'll list all the ingredients and what I use as well as a link to some blog, blog posts that you may find helpful for my blog. Make sure to subscribe and like this video if you love entertaining and you want to see more videos for entertaining at home. Happy summer, guys.